welcome to the fourth video of uh, Yocto tutorial series so in this uh, video we are going to analyze the VB layers of con5 and we are going to discuss the use of VB layers of con5 and some details about the recipes and the layers and uh, some between commands and so on so let us begin so what is uh, bb layers .conf file so it is also an other configuration file like uh, local.conf but in local.conf uh, we describe other parameters in bb layers .conf file we declare or we tell our build system where are our layers so what are layers uh, layers uh, uh, is a collection of uh, all related uh, metadata that provides uh, configuration information and uh, such as uh, recipes, configuration and files. So now the new term is recipe. So what are recipes? So recipe is a set of instruction for building packages. Uh, uh, so recipe also describes where to get the source code, which patches to apply and how to configure the source and so on and also maybe how to compile and there are may, uh, also some other steps but right now we are not going in detail so this pp layers file and in this pp layer variable we tell all the layers that should be included in our field if we remove any of them for example if I remove this meta Yocto BSP and if I try to build build then my build system will not be able to see the content of this meta Yocto BSP layer and uh, maybe build failed because this layer contains the recipes right now these are recipes from Pokey but later on maybe we can add our own recipe or our own layers these are the layers right now and later on we can add our own layers and uh, some we can also create our custom layer so so how do we identify a layer so mostly but uh, this is the the syntax uh, of or the we can say the convention of Yocto that the layer start the name meta and if we go to our if we go to Pokey here here we can see meta Meta Pokey, Meta Self Test, Meta Skeleton, Meta Yocto BSP. These are actually the layers that the Pokey system already has. So if later on we write our own layer, it, it should also start with Meta. So what is, is the recipe? So recipe, you will find the recipe inside uh, these uh, layers. Let us dig deep dig into Meta layer inside meta let us okay so here you can see that the recipes folder a lot of recipes folder so they are also named like recipes support recipe set or so these are the folders for example this uh, recipe is multimedia it will have the recipes related to multimedia recipes kernel will have recipes related to kernel and graphics will have recipes related to graphics and connectivity to connectivity and so on let us go inside recipes extended and if we go to recipes uh, recipes extended here we see a lot of recipes so if I want to have a tar inside my my, my build uh, my image so there is a tar recipe available and same for wget and zip and exit so let us see uh, the one simple recipe uh, I would like to show the recipe for the minicom uh, so let's go inside this minicom folder and here we can see the recipe so as you can see the extension of the recipe is dot pb pb stands for bitwig so if we open this minicom recipe so here you can see a lot of uh, metadata this is the simplest recipe that I can show you so as I told you it, tell, it tells that uh, from where do we fetch the data or the source code so here for 
in src URI variable. It tells that from here, from DB mirror, it is also uh, a variable. Uh, right now, we cannot see what is the value inside this variable, but I I think that it is a link towards something. So in DB mirror, in main, these variables we will also discuss in future videos. But in the end, we can see this is a tar file. So it will fetch this tar file from some server and we can also see here some patch files ending with dot patch so these files will use to apply the patch on the system then there is a checksum we will discuss later on so as i told you that there are like compile and uh, and applying patch and something and install so here you can see the do install step so it will install this to the destination to the image some uh, r recommend r recommends uh, and r depends these are also two variables uh, two yocto variables that we will discuss deeply in detail in later video so here you can see the simple recipe if we want to add some new layers in our yocto system either we can add here manually like for example if i want to add some i just copy paste and uh, here is for example a skeleton like this i can add or the other way i will show you in a couple of minutes but before we add recipe we need to identify the recipe which uh, no before we need before we add a layer we need to identify identify a layer and the identification of a layer is that it will always have this meta before the name so if we want to add something then the meta some layer then the meta will be there so after we uh, see but we don't have any command i think uh, for finding the available layers but what we can see is which layers are already included in our system so for that first of all we source our build system right now like now i want to see which layers are already included so the command is pick pick layers and show layers so if I execute this, then it tells that these three layers are already added to my build system. So my build system can fetch the recipes from here. And this is the priority, we will talk about the priority later. The second is how can we add a build? How can we add a recipe? So to add a recipe, I show you that we can add manually. Uh, the second step is, or if you want to add it uh, with the specific layer, command so we add bit bake layers add layer and then the path of the layer so i want to add let us say i want to add a meta skeleton so if i press enter so here you can see that it has been added here likewise i can also remove the recipe to do to remove the recipe again i will write bit bake layers remove layer and again i will give the path or maybe the recipe if it works let me check meta skeleton yeah it worked so it removed the meta skeleton from my bb layers.conf file so this is all for this video hope you like the video so in the next uh, video we will discuss how to add the packages into our image thank you for watching